Welcome to VTHR New Employee Center Overview. The New Employee Center is a one-stop shop for new employees to review and enter key personal and pay information as well as enroll in benefits. Begin at the main menu, then click on Self-Service, and finally on the New Employee Center page. The New Employee Center is a collection of pages within Employee Self-Service that will help you to easily go step-by-step -step to review and complete the information required as part of your onboarding process. There are four easy steps to complete your onboarding process in VTHR. The first step is to verify and update your personal information. Begin by clicking on the Home and Mailing Address page in the new Employee Center menu. Review your home and mailing address for accuracy. Click on the pencil icon next to the address information to make any changes. Next, click on email addresses. By default, your state email address will be listed in the business email field. If you would like to list additional email addresses, simply click on the Add Email Address button and complete the required steps, then save when done. Click on Phone Numbers link in the menu to review and add phone numbers. You can add phone numbers by clicking on the Add Phone Number button and completing the required fields. Be sure to identify a preferred number before saving this information. Next is Emergency Contacts. Click on the Emergency Contacts page from the Employee Center menu. Next, click on the Add Emergency Contact button to add an emergency contact. If you provide more than one contact, be sure to check which contact is the primary contact. To complete this step, click on the Save button when finished. This completes Step 1. Let's go to Step 2. To complete and submit your Federal W-4, start by clicking on W-4 Tax Information link from the new Employee Center menu. Although this is an online version of the Federal W-4, it is the same as completing a paper W-4 form. Review the W-4 and enter all required information. Once completed, confirm what you've entered, then click Submit. To capture an electronic signature on the W-4, VTHR will prompt you to confirm your password after you click Submit. Once your Federal W-4 is completed and submitted, you can click the Vermont State W-4 hyperlink to open the State W-4, which you will need to complete and submit to payroll. This completes Step 2. The State of Vermont requires that all employees receive their pay via direct deposit. Please note that all new employees will receive their first paycheck through the mail. However, all other checks will be deposited electronically. To get started, click on the Direct Deposit link in the New Employee Center menu. As a new employee, your Direct Deposit detail will be blank. To add an account, click the Add Account button here on the Direct Deposit Detail page. Complete all the fields in the Add Direct Deposit Detail. For help locating the routing and account number, click on View Check Example. Click Return to add Direct Deposit Detail. Enter the nine-digit routing number associated with your bank. To verify, you can click on the hourglass which opens a search window listing the bank information. Enter your bank account number. From the drop-down arrow, enter the account type and choose either checking or savings. For deposit type, choose balance. All employees are required to have one balance account, which is the account to which your entire net pay is deposited. The deposit order of $9.99 is automatically populated. Check your entry carefully before clicking the Submit button, as only one entry per day can be made. You will receive a confirmation if your information was successfully submitted. Clicking OK returns you to the Direct Deposit screen showing the added balance account. Back on the Direct Deposit screen, you can see a completed Direct Deposit record. Now that there is an initial direct deposit record, you can add accounts to distribute a specific amount from your pay to a desired checking or savings account. You will receive an email confirming changes made to your direct deposit account. This completes Step 3. In this step, we will discuss how to enroll you and your family in health and dental benefits. 
There are a few items to consider or complete prior to the enrollment process in VTHR. To learn about the different types of coverage and the associated costs, visit the Department of Human Resources website. Also, make sure you've watched the Health Benefits Overview video. You may be eligible to waive the 30-day waiting period if you have previous health coverage that ended no more than three days prior to your date of hire with the State of Vermont, or you have current health coverage that will terminate less than 30 days after your date of hire. You will need to provide confirmation of your coverage termination date to the Employee Benefits Unit. This could be a document from your former employer or insurance company, or the relevant page from any COBRA offer you received. To initiate a benefits enrollment request, send an email to the benefits team. Include your employee ID number and any required documentation if you are seeking a waiver. If you are not seeking a waiver, then no additional documentation will be required. The benefits team will generate an enrollment event in the VTHR system with the appropriate effective date. If you are seeking a waiver, the effective date will be between your first and 31st day of hire. If you are not seeking a waiver of the waiting period, the effective date will be the 31st day after your date of hire. You will receive an email when the enrollment event is ready for you to access in the VTHR system. We will now walk you through the steps in VTHR to select benefits options and successfully submit your enrollment selections. Click on the Benefits Enrollment link in the New Employee Center menu. To begin, click the Select button on the Benefits Enrollment landing page. On the Enrollment Summary page, you will see the Medical Coverage option default is No Coverage. To select a medical plan or to waive coverage, click the Edit button. You can choose one of the two medical plans, Select Care or Total Choice. Both plans have a before-tax or after-tax option, meaning either your premium will be deducted from your gross wages before taxes are taken, or deducted from your net wages after taxes are taken. At the bottom of the screen is the option to waive coverage. When you choose your plan, a section will appear at the bottom of the screen to enroll dependents. If you are adding dependents, click Add Review Dependents. And on the next screen, add dependent or beneficiary. If you are enrolling only yourself or if you are waiving coverage, click Update Elections and skip this step. On the Dependent Personal Information page, add the personal information for your dependent. Under Relationship to Employee, the options you may choose are Child or Spouse. If you are enrolling a domestic partner, contact the Benefits Unit for additional instructions. Once you've completed this information, click Save and then click Return to the Dependent Beneficiary Summary. You have now completed a dependent record. From here, you can add additional dependents or if you have completed adding dependents, click Return to Event Selection to continue the enrollment process. On the Event Selection screen, Click the Enroll checkbox for all dependents you want to add to the coverage and then click Update Elections. On the summary screen, you'll see your estimated per pay period costs and covered dependents. Review this page carefully, then click Update Elections again. Back on the main enrollment page, you will see the option to edit your dental coverage. The dental plan is provided at no cost to you or your dependents. You do not need to enroll yourself as the coverage begins automatically six months after your date of hire, but in the enrollment event, you can add dependents to the plan. Their coverage will begin at the same time as your own. To enroll dependents in the dental coverage, repeat the same process you used for the medical coverage. When you have finished adding dependents to both the medical and dental coverage, hit the Submit button on the Enrollment Summary page. On the Authorize Elections page, review the information carefully, then click the Submit button to complete and submit the enrollment. A final confirmation screen notes that a message will be sent to your state email address when your confirmation statement is ready for viewing. 
This will be within three business days. Click OK to complete the enrollment process. After receiving the email that your confirmation statement is ready for viewing, log in to VTHR, then navigate to the Benefits menu and select Benefits Confirmation Statement menu item. If you have any questions regarding the enrollment process or any other benefits-related questions, please contact the Employee Benefits Unit. We're here to help. We hope this VTHR New Employee Center Overview video has given you the information you need to complete your onboarding in VTHR. Welcome to the team!